Hello, I'm Kyle Brown with Zeiss, representing Sports Optics. Today we have a product education video to share with you, but before we go there, did you know that Zeiss has been celebrating this year 175 years of optical authority and excellence? 175 year anniversary, that's amazing. We have a quick video to share with you. It's a company overview video. Hope you enjoy what you're about to see. Zeiss, the brand and the company, was founded in 1846. Zeiss manufactured its first rifle scopes in 1904. Carl Zeiss was awarded a patent for the first illuminator reticle within a rifle scope in the year 1921. Today, you might be surprised at how much Zeiss impacts and influences your daily life through the world of entertainment, healthcare, vision, support, and hobbies. In the world of microscopy, astronomy, vision, semiconductors, metrology, photo and cinema, and sports optics, just a few areas in which Zeiss plays a major role in development and innovation. Man, it is always fun to share that video with people. It's exciting to show people just how big Zeiss is and how much it influences our daily lives far beyond the world of sport optics. With 175 years of optical authority, that also means 175 years of research and development in the world of optics. Did you know that Zeiss as a foundation has to spend at least 10% of their profits each and every year on research and development and innovation? This is the engine that drives optical performance and innovation. This year, that research and development allowed us to enter the world of precision shooting. And we didn't just enter it, we entered it with authority. And here we have a presentation to share with you about the new Zeiss LRP S5 first focal plane rifle scopes. This product is built to dominate the competition. By now you can see that Zeiss has the engineering and optical expertise to deliver world-class performance that can dominate in the marketplace. Speaking of domination, Zeiss has developed a brand new product for the world of precision shooting. The next presentation is gonna get into many of the details that separate Zeiss LRP S5 first focal plane rifle scopes from the competition. Does the shooter understand the course of fire? Yes. Stand by.
Okay, did you catch that? Total elevation travel of 140 MOA or 40.7 MRAD of travel. That is massive. And how about the optical design? Fluoride lens elements. It doesn't get any better than that. Finally, 1500 G-force of impact shock testing. I'm not aware of any other rifle scope that gets tested to that level of punishment. And that's not all we have to share. In the next presentation, we're going to get into our design parameters and specifications of the LRPS-5 first focal plane rifle scopes. The Zeiss LRPS-5 5-25 by 56 and the Zeiss LRPS-5 3-18 by 50 are first focal plane rifle scopes with a massive amount of total elevation travel out of the box, which allows the shooter to engage targets to 1,500 yards and beyond. When used in PRS and NRL type competitions, the rifle scope will give you the edge to not just compete, but to win. It's available in both milliradian and minute of angle configurations. When the stage timer starts and you need to swiftly and decisively identify those shot up steel targets, this is the moment that demands the pinnacle of optical performance. The LRP S5 5-25x56 is perfect for precision rifle competition and long-range hunting and shooting. It is an exceptional choice for long-range shooting and hunting on a variety of rifle platforms. The 5-25x56 is ideal for target shooting, testing ammunition, load development, and hunting. The LRP S5 3-18x50 is compact enough for any competition rifle and is ideal for long-range hunting rifles. If you found that interesting, then the next video will go over the feature sets of the LRPS-5. And remember, each and every feature has a real-world shooter benefit. The LRPS-5 is available in two configurations. Select from either milliradian or minute of angle. Both offer highly repeatable and tactile turrets with audible clicks designed for precise shot adjustment and to dominate the match. In addition, the lifting turrets offer multi-turn functionality and incorporate enhanced dual row engraving for ease of use and fast reference. The elevation turret provides a rock solid ballistic stop for an absolute return to zero. The external locking windage turret provides easy access for immediate sight correction and secure setting. The LRP S5 is designed to dominate the distance with a massive total elevation travel of 40.7 MRAD or 140 MOA. The turret's per click adjustment values are 1 tenth MRAD and quarter MOA, respectively. One revolution of the turret equates to 12 MRAD or 30 MOA. To operate the external locking windage turret, pull out on the locking collar to unlock and adjust, and then push in to lock. The multi-turn turret offers an easy, super fast return to zero with a very secure setting. Each tactile click represents either 1 tenth MRAD or 1 quarter MOA adjustment value, with a total windage adjustment of 24 MRAD or 60 MOA accordingly. Dominate the light with diffractive reticle illumination technology. The digitally controlled reticle illumination delivers an exceptionally clean and bright point of aim, regardless of the amount of harsh incoming light. This technology provides a truly daylight visible reticle and a precise point of aim. Dominate the target with high performance optics. The optics are designed with fluoride lenses and shot glass. The T-Star lens coatings ensure maximum light transmission and optimized color contrast for a bright image with razor sharp resolution. The external facing optics are final treated with Zeiss Lodutech protective lens coatings. The European style fast focus design diopter adjustment measures 46 millimeters in diameter. As with all Zeiss rifle scopes, the LRP S5 has a generous eye box. It also offers an eye relief of three and a half inches. Easily identify your magnification settings using the enhanced engravings and then quickly change them using the magnification zoom ring adjustment. The LRP S5 has a side parallax adjustment, adjustable from 27 yards to infinity. The diffractive reticle illumination is digitally controlled and offers infinitely variable intensity levels of adjustment. To activate the reticle illumination, pull out on the knob. The auto-off feature is controlled by time and angle sensors to maximize battery life for when you need it most. The LRP S5 rifle scopes are designed, 
engineered, and manufactured in Germany. The solid construction of this model is proven. It has been shock tested over 800 cycles at 1000 G-Force and then final shock tested repeatedly at 1500 G-Force to validate its durability. This heavy duty rifle scope has a 34 mm main tube. It is waterproof to 13 feet for up to two hours and is nitrogen purged to guard against internal fogging. This level of quality and ruggedness allows you to dominate the harshest conditions. The list of features on these scopes are most impressive, but some of my favorites are the audible and tactile turrets and the ballistic stop. Listen to this. You hear how positive and precise that was? And then the ballistic stop. Very positive, very crisp, always back to zero. And a big time favorite is the external locking windage turret. Pull out to unlock, make your adjustments, lock it in place where you like it. Once you're ready to return to zero, unlock your adjustment, rotate to zero, push in, lock it into place. It's that simple, it's that fast, it's that friendly. Then that takes us to another portion of the scope, the fluoride lens elements. Big deal, we all like a crystal clear image downrange. And the daylight visible illuminated reticle has been a powerhouse positive for us. Pull out to turn it on, rotate it to dim it or increase the intensity levels, push in to turn off. And speaking of the reticles, our next presentation will get into some details about these reticles as well as the technology behind the illumination. The LRPS5 first focal plane rifle scope is available with highly intuitive and smarter reticle designs with either a milliradian or minute of angle configuration. The ZFMRI is Zeiss's MRAD solution with illumination. It was designed with professional input from active shooting competitors who are proven winners as well as instructors. The ZFMRI reticle incorporates a tree-style primary structure with useful hash marks, dots, and reference numbers for a non-cluttered design. The points of aim and holds are represented in two-tenths, half and whole MRAD increments, and even numbers are displayed for fast and intuitive visual reference. The ZFMOAI Minute of Angle based smart reticle with illumination was designed with precision shooting and long-range hunting in mind. The clean and clutter-free MOA reticle uses hash marks that represent one MOA graduations, and even numbers are displayed for quick and informative visual reference. The windage dots below the centerline are placed at two MOA increments to confirm the wind's influence and help understand bullet impact and splash off target. The floating center dot, within a floating center point of aim, provides a very precise hold on the most difficult targets. Only the center of the reticle illuminates, allowing you to maintain a most precise point of aim in low light and in harsh daylight conditions. Did you notice how each of those reticles incorporate a floating center dot for an ultra-precise point of aim? Beyond the point of aim, we have the illuminated reticle. The illuminated reticle, if you caught in that video, it is digitally controlled. The benefit of a digitally controlled reticle illumination is this. We incorporate angle sensors and time sensors to help conserve battery life. So with the illumination on, if we rotate our rifle to the left side or to the right side, the reticle goes auto off mode. Before we can get it back into the shooting position, it's already on. Also part of the angle sensor is if we're carrying it with the muzzle toward the ground, the reticle is turned off automatically. If we have the rifle slung across our shoulder, the rifle scope is pointing upwards, then the reticle is auto off again. Before we can get it back to the shooter's position, it is already back on. That's the benefit of digitally controlled technology. Also, after about four hours of inactivity, the reticle will turn itself automatically off, conserving a lot of battery life. And you noticed within that video, it referred to diffractive reticle illumination technology. And you saw the real world benefit. To continue on with the real world benefit, keep in mind, Regardless of the harsh light shooting conditions that's coming in from your objective lens, you'll be able to increase the intensity level of the reticle illumination and maintain a precise point of aim through that harsh light. Obviously, it is also a big benefit against dark targets downrange and dirty targets downrange or dark backgrounds with dirty targets downrange. So it's huge benefits and probably could earn you a couple extra points in PRS and NRL matches as well.
And with that being said, for low light illumination and low light environmental conditions, you can also rotate the intensity level downward to the specified level that you require for your low light shooting conditions. Next up is a short video where we wanna share with you one of the most captivating aspects of this rifle scope, the total elevation travel capability. And you'll notice in this video that the rifle scope has potential to outperform the ammunition. Zeiss LRPS5 first focal plane rifle scopes with 140 MOA or 40.7 MRAD of travel have more total downrange performance capability than competitive models, as much as 49% more distance. The illustration assumes that all rifle scope models were mounted atop the same 22 rimfire rifle, used the same mounting solution, and were adjusted from a zeroed position beginning at the bottom of their respective total elevation travel. And I know we've shared a lot with you about turrets today, but we're gonna go a little deeper here and let you know a little bit more about the elevation and windage turret designs. The elevation and windage turret designs are the most advanced Zeiss has to offer to date. Specifically speaking, the elevation turret with a ballistic stop is the most tier one elevation turret that I've experienced and shot to date. The LRPS5 ballistic stop and external locking windage turret offers some highly unique design differences and some strong end user benefits. A big difference for these LRPS5 rifle scopes is the fact that the turrets are not removable. That means you're not gonna lose the set screws. That means you're not gonna contaminate the internal mechanism of the turret itself. It's simply a superior turret design. We've previously discussed the distinct differences of these turrets and the features and benefits they offer. Now we're gonna show you. Here's our current status. The rifle scope is out of the box. It's been mounted in the rings and onto the rifle, and we now have a side end zero. Now that we have the side end zero established, it's time to re-index the turret to zero and set the ballistic stop at the exact same time. Before we get started, we wanna share with you one of the unique design differences in these turrets versus other turrets that are available. When you loosen the two set screws on these turret designs and you go to re-index the turret to zero, you will still witness and feel the tactile clicks. This is normal. This is because when the two set screws are loosened, the turret will not have adjustment on the reticle any longer. It will only allow the turret to re-index to zero. We'll begin by loosening the two T8 Torx set screws. Loosen the first one. Loosen the second one. Push down all the way. Rotate it clockwise until it stops. Tighten the two T8 set screws you previously loosened. Wow, we're done. It was that fast, it was that simple. Ballistic stops, highly repeatable, super precise. Notice we didn't remove the turret. We didn't lose any screws. We didn't contaminate the mechanism. Just a dead simple, fast process, ready to go and have fun shooting. So we've just completed showing you how to set the ballistic stop when it's out of the box and newly mounted on the rifle. However, there's gonna be times when you're gonna to need to reset the ballistic stop. Why? If we wanna swap the scope to another rifle, if we wanna change out barrels, if we want to change ammunition types or bullet weights, those are all examples of reasons why we would need to readjust the ballistic stop. And once again, we'll begin by loosening the two Torx T8 set screws. Loosen the first one. Loosen the second one. At this juncture, you pull on the turret completely up until it comes to a hard stop. While in the up position, go ahead and tighten the turret again. Now, at this point, you'll get to a new position within your turret rotation where you now have a new side end zero. Now that you have a new side end zero from this position, you can reset and re-index the zero and reset the ballistic stop. So in order to do so, we need to begin by loosening the two set screws once again. Loosen the first one. Loosen the second one. Now press down all the way until it comes to a hard stop. Rotate until it comes to another hard stop. Tighten the first set screw. Tighten the second set screw to the appropriate specifications. And we're done. It's that fast and it's that simple. 
Now that we've got the elevation turret and ballistic stop addressed, it's time to get to the external locking windage turret. Let's go over a few things here. To begin, we're gonna have to loosen the two set screws. Take the locking collar, perhaps pull out on it just a little bit, and index the set screw hole. Loosen the first set screw. Loosen the second set screw. Now that it's loosened, we'll re-index it to our side end zero, and we'll go ahead and tighten our two set screws that we just loosened. Tighten number one, tighten number two, ensure the locking collar works, and zero is easy to address. And that's it. You notice how fast, simple, and easy that was? We didn't have to remove the turret, we didn't lose any screws, and we didn't have to contaminate the internal mechanism. We achieved a new and repeatable zero in just a few seconds. These new turrets on the LRP S5 first focal plane rifle scopes are simply amazing to work with. I hope you guys are as impressed as I am in the ballistic stop, how simple, how fast, how effective and repeatable that system really is. And we also realize reticles are just as important. As we near the end of this presentation, the next video we're gonna share with you are the reticle details and through the lens imagery to help share the real world benefits with you. The Zeiss ZFMRI Milliradian based first focal plane reticle and the ZFMOAI Minute of Angle based first focal plane reticle is initially available in Zeiss's LRP S5 series of rifle scopes. The primary benefit of a first focal plane reticle is the fact that the reticle's math values or subtended measurements remain constant, regardless of the scope's magnification setting. This is especially helpful and important when engaging single or multiple targets in a dynamic environment, such as during a shooting competition or while long-range hunting. The ZFMRI Smart Reticle was designed to dominate at precision rifle competitions. The Milliradian reticle incorporates a floating center dot atop a tree-style primary structure with useful hash marks, dots, and reference numbers without the clutter, with finer subtended markings consisting of two-tenths, half, and whole MRAD. Even numbers are displayed for fast visual reference. The reticle offers ease of use, intuitiveness, and precision, ultimately contributing to speed for the competitor. The main portion of the reticle incorporates a total of 12 MRAD of drop below centerline and uses hash marks at 2 tenths, half, and whole MRAD increments for easy reference. The floating center dot, coupled with the finer lines of the reticle, guarantees minimum target coverage and maximizes precise aiming. The windage dots below centerline are spaced at half MRAD increments so that you can easily confirm the wind's influence on the bullet's impact downrange and recover for an immediate and corrective follow-up shot, if necessary. The upper section of the reticle is clean and minimal, providing a clearer and larger view and allowing you to concentrate on bullet trace for those longer range shots. Only the center section of the reticle illuminates for a non-distracting and fine point of aim in low light or harsh light shooting conditions. If winning the competition is your goal, then the Zeiss ZFMRI reticle was made for you. The ZFMOAI reticle is a great choice for making the most challenging and precise shots. The minute of angle reticle incorporates a floating center dot within a floating center point of aim for precise aiming. The intuitive and clutter-free reticle uses minor hash marks every one MOA and major hash marks every two MOA. Even numbers are displayed for fast visual reference. The bold main lines from three, six, and nine o'clock positions greatly support the ability to immediately see the center point of aim when the scope is adjusted to a lower magnification setting. This is especially useful when shooting or hunting in low light conditions. The main portion of the reticle incorporates a total of 30 MOA of drop below centerline, and it uses hash marks at whole MOA spacing. The floating center dot, coupled with the finer lines of the reticle, guarantees minimum target coverage and maximizes precise aiming. The windage dots below centerline are spaced at two MOA increments so that you can easily confirm the wind's influence on the bullet's impact downrange and recover for an immediate and corrective follow-up shot if necessary. 
The upper section of the reticle is clean and minimal, providing a clearer and larger view and allowing you to concentrate on bullet trace for those longer range shots. Only the center section of the reticle illuminates for a non-distracting and fine point of aim in low light or harsh light shooting conditions. If ultra-precise shot placement is your goal, then the Zeiss ZFM OAI reticle was made for you. You can dominate the light with the truly daylight visible illuminated reticle. The diffractive reticle illumination represents technology typically reserved for the most premium optical systems. It provides you with an exceptionally bright point of aim, regardless of the harsh lighting conditions. And it yields a well-defined and precise point of aim when the scope is adjusted to its lower magnification settings. Pull out to turn on and push in to turn off. Once activated, the user can easily and quickly increase or decrease the intensity levels of the illumination. The system is digitally controlled and incorporates an auto-off feature that operates via time and angle sensors. All right, the video you just watched showed you the reticles are available in MOA and MRAD. And what you noticed on the MOA reticle, it was a clean, clutter-free design broken down into one MOA increments. And what you watched in the video was the MRAD reticle with a tree-style design broken down into two tenths, half, and whole MRAD reticle segments. Okay, so that wraps it up. We hope you enjoyed this presentation on the new Zeiss LRPS5 First Focal Plane Rifle Scopes. Thanks for joining us and we look forward to showing you more products in the near future.